What is up everybody? It's Wick here. And there's a lot of snow out today, but I still got to go make that money. So let's go and see what we can make happen today. I am in Goodwill and I found this PlayStation DualShock um, still in the box. I uh, didn't have the styrofoam and stuff in there, but it had the controller. They only had $4.99 on it. I think they have a PlayStation in the case right now for like $20, bucks, $25 um, out. No controllers or anything, so they don't know what they're doing. Um, I did not pick this up because I already have one of those in the box. I have like three or four loose ones that I've come across in lots. I just They're just not very valuable. And I don't need another one sitting around. Um, looking back now, I kind of wish I would have bought it because it's just a cool find. Um, here is uh, something I found. It's like a sterilizer for baby bottles. I opened it up and it was filthy, so I ended up putting it back. I would have made like $65 on eBay. See the Yahtzee Goal game and the Fibber game. I'll show those and what else I got in Goodwill uh, here in a bit. Okay, I just got out of the second Goodwill. Um, let me show you here. I got a... Um Puppy surprise, I guess it is. Uh, it has one baby in it. Um, been kind of learning about these from Catalina. She buys them and sells them. I believe she lots them up, she said, and usually lots four or five and gets around um, 80 to $100 for them. Um, I guess it probably depends on which one. I've never actually looked them up, so I don't know exactly, you know, the value of them, uh, like just one or anything like that. But it was $1.99, so I just picked it up. I'll probably pass that on to her. Got the good old um, Magnum Box combo unit. Um, been finding a decent amount of these so far the uh, last few months. Um, sell this usually for about $140, $150. Um, I've sold probably a dozen of them, so they definitely sell well. And um, I picked up this mechanical keyboard. Um, it just came out on the cart. It was three ninety nine. dollars um, It is not like a good brand or anything, but mechanical keyboards are more sought after and more expensive um, than just normal keyboards. This one used on Amazon actually was listed at $99. Um, I definitely believe that's inflated, uh, but I think there is some money in it, and uh, there's a good chance I might just keep it myself too, so I have one on hand. But um, for three ninety nine, dollars I thought it was worth picking up. Just got out of Salvation Army, and there's nothing in there for me. They have not had their parking lot uh, plowed out. So um, people risking their lives to come here, slipping and fall. Oh, that woman just slid halfway across the parking lot. Too bad I didn't get that on film. <laughs> um, but uh, she lived. She made it. Um, but let me show you what I got out of the first Goodwill real quick. I picked up this handheld Jatsy game. These things sell new for like 80, 90 bucks. I uh, used, um, I was surprised, I looked them up, haven't found one in so long used. $34.99, but um, price may be inflated because of Christmas. And it uh, has like a little bit of cosmetic damage. It does work. Um, well, you know, it did work at the thrift store. I hit on and it came on. Um, <laughs> but now it's not working. Um, I swear it worked. But um, yeah, this... Uh, I don't think I'm going to sell it for $34.99. I'm just going to list it at a lower because it, it, on Amazon, when you're selling used stuff, you need to just really talk it down and let people be surprised when they get it because if you say this is in good condition and they get it and they see that, someone just may leave you bad feedback and you're not going to get that removed or it's just going to leave a bad mark um, because people are a lot more picky. you got like this bubbling up on the back. So I'll probably put this in acceptable condition and um describe it as as that like the stickers kind of coming loose on the back and there's some marks on the front but yeah um, there's a little bit of money to be made there we'll see how it does and um i got this fibber game for 2.99 i'm only gonna make about 10 bucks on that in the end but it is new sealed and then this i want i went ahead and took a chance on is some disney um poo crib 
liner thing. Uh, there's no one on the listing on Amazon, and I couldn't find it on eBay. But I went to Camel Camel Camel, looked up price history, and it was um, the low price was $18, and the high price was $88. So um, I'll price it somewhere in between there. I'd pay up for it $6.99. Uh, we'll see how it does. There's no reviews or anything. It might sit. Um, I debated a while if I was going to buy it, but I went ahead and just picked it up. Figured, why not? I think it will sell. I think I'll make some money on it. But I'm going to head over to one more Goodwill in a thrift store and see if we can find anything else this morning. So here in this Goodwill, on this end cap, buried in all this junk, look what I found. It's a TI-83 Plus calculator in very good condition, only $2.99. Um, I've sold these on Amazon a lot for $50, uh, $54.99, so um, I've been finding so many of these on end caps, uh, the TI-84 Pluses, I just don't know what it is. I, I feel like now every time I, uh, I dig through something, uh, I should be finding one of these because it's been so often that I have been. Uh, the rest of this Goodwill is just small. They're, this is their electronic section, this one end cap, and I've never seen like a VCR or anything here. It's just disappointing. So this Goodwill usually doesn't pay out, but I'm glad I came. Um, first of all, if you've seen the live footage there, I was recording in there. Hopefully it shows up, but just in case. Got this TI-83 Plus calculator. Again, under random junk on an end cap. Um, this is like the third one I've found in like a month or two. Um, not this. Actually, the ones I found before were better because they are TI-84 Pluses. But this will still sell on Amazon in this condition for $54.99. Um, especially this time of year because January um, back to school classes will be starting and students will be picking those up at a bit of a premium and then I picked up these hush puppy uh, like driving loafers because they're in really good shape they're only $4.99 um, I looked up comps hush puppies isn't you know a great brand it is cheap skin lining and um, the, since it's a driving loafer a driving shoe style they tend to do a bit better um this brand so i went and picked it up 35 to 40 dollars it looks like some uh, pre-owns were selling for now that i get it out here in the light i do see a little flaw uh probably not gonna matter um but yeah i'll probably try to sell these for 35 plus buyer pay shipping i've been really enjoying shoes as of late buying them and flipping them um, there's just something about them that I enjoy selling them for some reason. Now, I don't like cleaning them, so <laughs> I tend to leave the ones that are um, going to take a lot of effort. But these, these are almost unworn, so yeah, I picked them up. They might fit me. They're 11s. I usually wear a 10 and a half, but I kind of like them. So maybe if they fit me well, I'll keep them, but they'll probably be just a little bit too big. So I just got out of a church thrift store and um, <laughs> got another puppy surprise. This one was actually free. It was in a box of stuffed animals that said free. A um, no, little bit of nose damage and stuff, but for free I just picked it up for Catalina. I don't know. Um, and I picked up this. This ended up being 25 cents. It's just a um, vintage starter hat, Cleveland Indians. It does have a name on it. Uh, a little dusty, but I think it'll clean up somewhat. I don't know the value in this, um, but for the price, I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up and see if anyone wanted it. Uh, maybe 15 20 bucks. I really don't know. I really don't know. Not much of a hat seller. Yeah, I don't find a lot of vintage hats, that's for sure. And I was just talking about this the other day. I said, why don't I ever see like vintage starter hats and stuff? But here's one. Uh, for a quarter, I'll pick it up. The crazy thing is, though, there was a woman in line there in front of me. She had three, uh, like, vintage pairs of Air Jordans. Um, <laughs> and she was in there a dollar a piece, and they were, looked like they were in really good condition. So I missed out on those. But um, you just can't you just can't get it all. So I just popped in this Walmart to check out the clearance. Uh, still only 50% off, waiting for it to drop to 75% off. There's a ton of toy clearance uh, to pick up uh, once that happens. But uh, I did end up picking up another one of these Sony. I've been, I keep finding stragglers of these. Um, I sell them for, well, I checked the price right now. They're selling for uh, 40 bucks. So I make about $20 bill on that, no problem. Um, I got probably $1,500 worth of these things. Been waiting for them to go up in value because um, 
I know they have in the past, and uh, since Walmart's clearanced them out, they've kind of dropped in price, but they'll go back up. Either way, at $11, I'm going to make great money. I'm just trying to be greedy, you know, get another $10, $15 profit. Now, uh, four packs have been up to $99 before, so maybe um, if it gets back to that point, I don't know what a four pack selling for right now. But I think I'm going to hit Lowe's. I haven't been in this one for a while and see if I can't find any clearance there. So I just got out of Lowe's and I did not find anything. Um, people comment all the time about how I always find stuff in Lowe's. It's not the case. So here's a case where it, uh, it did not find anything. I'd say half the time I do, half the time I don't. But that's going to do it for sourcing today. I'm going to go home and try to get some work done. So I'm back home and when you're testing these VCRs and the combo units, you really got to thoroughly test them. This one seems to work fine. Uh, you put in a VHS, it plays. And then the problem is when you stop it, you see a little fast forward there, but when you go to fast forward it the fast way, it starts up and then it stops and it shuts it off. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's not going to work. You can't sell something like that, especially on Amazon. So probably what will happen with this is it'll get returned. I'll get my $13 back. I have seven days to return it. Um, even the remote here, there's a couple of problems. Like when you try to hit fast forward or rewind, you really have to push it in. So that wasn't working too well. I haven't tested the DVD side, but uh, I'm not going to keep it even if that works. So it's unfortunate. What happens a lot of time with these is they just they do not work. There's always something wrong with them even though it seems fine and you could probably sell this um, on eBay and uh, you know disclose like it fast forwards just doesn't fast forward um, outside of the video uh, and someone would probably still buy it you'd make some money but I don't think I want to mess with it because I got so many appliances not appliances electronics right now that I'm testing and have to get through and it just I just want to mess with the good ones so I got my Amazon Basics photo booth set up now, and I'm going to go ahead and knock out some pictures for eBay. Um, I'm going to use my camera I got at the thrift store recently. I paid $3 for this. It's a, it'll sell for $250, $300 used. It's in immaculate condition. But I have the ver the 4K version of this with a bigger lens um, that I paid about six over $600 for. And... Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll sell that one instead and keep this one if it's good. So I'm going to use this to take pictures with, see how it does. Um, I found this in a tote. I bought a few of these a year or two ago, actually, at Walmart. And um, it's brand new sealed. It's a Diablo 3 mouse. And um, I believe I sold, like, the other two or three for, um, like, 50 60 bucks. Uh, I think I paid, like, $11 and something, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. But uh, this one I found on a tote, I did not realize I still had it. And um, it's right now it's listed on eBay for $169.99. It's not on Amazon anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and list it on eBay for about, I don't know, like $150. Bucks and just see if it sells. Get it out of there. So <laughs> forgetting about that ended up being good. Tested a bunch of electronics. And um, unfortunately, one of the DVD combos um, or the recorders, I don't know where it went did not work so that's going to be about $300 sale I'm not going to get um, but the remote still sells for $50 here the JVC so I'm going to go ahead and s send that to Amazon next shipment try to get that sold I think I paid $15 for it so I'm going to make money in the end plus I believe I can sell it for parts still for about 50 bucks on eBay it looks like so definitely going to do well just not as well as I was hoping but yeah, I'm going to get this stuff knocked out and then just relax the rest of the night. So this is pretty much my day. This is a Monday, so it's pretty much my Monday as a reseller. Um, going to probably work on this for an hour and a half, two hours, and then just get some food and relax. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell. Follow me on Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.